Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Yaritza and this is another Vlogmas video. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite holiday dessert, flan de queso, cheese flan. My mom makes it and it's so good. This is gonna be only the second time I make it. I made it a couple of years ago and actually came out really good. So I'm hoping that it comes out good this time as well. I'm gonna share my recipe with you guys. Well, my mom's recipe, which I have written down right here in this little piece of paper when I got the recipe from her for the first time a couple of years ago. And I have all my ingredients here already set up, ready to go. And I am going to show you this cheese flan recipe. So these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using. One can of sweet condensed milk, another can of evaporated milk, we have our Philadelphia cream cheese, vanilla extract, cane sugar, some cinnamon, and four eggs, and our nine inch round pan, and then another one bigger for some water, and of course our cooling rack, and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a cup of the sugar, put it in a saucepan, start mixing it. So we're gonna basically melt it until it creates a caramel. You just have to continuously move it because you don't wanna burn the sugar, you just want it to melt without burning. So you see all the sugar has melted. You wanna make sure that there's no big chunks of sugar and it's completely melted. We can pour it in our pan. You wanna make sure that the caramel touches every single um, corner of the pan before it um, gets hard. That's it. You gotta be careful because the pan is hot. Moving on to the next step, let's mix all of our ingredients. All right, so we have here my blender and we are going to add all the ingredients and blend them in. So we have our cream cheese, which is room temperature. I had it out of the fridge for a couple of hours. So it's still cold, but it's soft. Ideally how you want it when you're going to use it to make this recipe. I'm gonna dump it in there. I'm gonna blend the cheese first. We're going to add the sweet condensed milk. Then we have our evaporated milk. Just gonna pour that in there. We're gonna use four eggs. Three and four. A little bit of vanilla extract. Oops. And we're going to put some cinnamon. The blend is done and we're gonna pour it into our pan. You guys, this is a, not a cooking channel, so I don't have the perfect kitchen. I am not Martha Stewart, but I promise you that this recipe is going to be so good. So let me know if you try it at home. You guys, so I forgot to tell you that while I was blending all of that up, I turned on the oven um, so I can preheat it to 400, but I think it's actually 350. So I'm gonna pre preheat the oven to 350. So I have my caramel here and my mix. I'm just gonna pour it all in there. So I'm gonna put this in the oven first. I'm gonna fill it halfway with like warm water and then I'm gonna put the, the mix. Actually, let me put this in there first. You wanna put it right in the center of the rack. Then you wanna grab some warm hot water and pour it inside the larger container. So you just wanna make sure that the water is like halfway to, halfway to this one. You, wanna, you don't wanna overfill it with water because you don't want the water to get into your actual flan. Let's close it up. So that's it. So I'm gonna give it about an hour in the oven and then we're gonna check it. So I think that the flan is done. I put the timer for an hour and the timer went off. So we're going to check it and this is how we're gonna make sure that it's done. So we're in the middle of making dinner as well. We're gonna pull this one out carefully. We have a toothpick and we're gonna stick it right in the middle. And you wanna 
make sure that it comes out clean. So that's pretty clean to me. Let me see if you can see it. So that's really good. So we are, it's ready to be taken out. So now that that is done, we are just gonna set it to the side and let it cool off for a little bit before we put it in the fridge. And it's gonna be in the fridge for about two to, two to four hours. You wanna make sure that it's really cold before you serve it. So I'm hoping that it'll be ready to eat tonight um, for after dinner dessert. All right guys, so the flan is done. It's been about three to four hours. Um, we, I cooked dinner, we ate, did some other stuff, and now we're ready for this dessert. So this is how you're going to cut. So after you take it out of the freezer, you're gonna take a knife, you're going to cut around it to loosen up the, the caramel. And then you want like a plate that has some depth to it because or it's gonna car car I wish I had something else that had more depth to it, but this is all I have. So you're gonna put it on top and you're gonna flip it over and it should come up. Make sure that all the caramel falls on it. Now it's ready for a taste test. Baby, you wanna taste the flan? Come on over. I'm gonna taste it without you. This is so good. I feel like I think I can probably eat this all by myself. Crunch down. <laughs> it's so good, right? Yeah, it's really, really good. You guys, it came out so good. You have to try the recipe. I will put it in the description below. Let me know if you do. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite desserts ever, especially for the holidays. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the other videos. And I will see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye.